Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I review pens, fountain pens, related things. I like to share with you things that I find that might be obscure and today is one of those. It's an obscure pen at least as far as I can tell. I don't see very many reviews or people talking about, hey, I got this pen and I like it or anything like that. Uh, I follow several pen people on uh, Instagram. I've never seen a picture of this pen except for the one I posted. And that is the SKB F20. And as it was said on eBay, the SKB F20 colorful plastic pen. And, and that's what it is. Uh, it is a plastic pen. It is a, a, a fairly interesting, unusual pen. Uh, there are things that about it that seem fairly normal but then you get down to this weird little ring but we'll talk about that when we get to the design but I, I kept seeing it on eBay I saw it on AliExpress somebody mentioned it in a comment somewhere about how they like SKB pens and I go well, I've never never heard of never seen never beheld an SKB pen so I went looking and I, I kept finding this one in my in my feed and I said okay even though kind of an odd looking pen to me I'm going to try it and see what I think. So let's dive into the design of the pen, how it looks, functions, and what you get for your money, and whether or not I think this is a good, bad, or ugly fountain pen. Let's flip that camera and take a closer look. Now, right when you first look at the pen, there are some things that you will that will catch your eye. One is this this bulbous plastic ring above the metal ring, and I don't know if that's just meant to be its own little pen rest. It certainly would be. Uh, as long as you've got the cap on, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I know that I've seen other pens and maybe they just thought it looked good on those and they copied it. I have no idea. I always think that's just a weird little thing. That's just a personal preference. You may look at that and think, best thing ever. But for me, it's kind of odd. It is loose a little bit on the pen because of the way that it's manufactured. So you, that spins around a little. Probably shouldn't be doing that, but it does spin around. And then uh, you have the clip. The clip is kind of big at the top, and it, if you look, it kind of mimics the beginning, the wide section of a nib, and then goes into a clip instead. So maybe that's what they were going for there. Whatever the case, it provides a nice little strong steel, stamped steel clip. And um, because I, I do like clips that are part of the trim ring connecting around here, I think those tend to be good and strong. When I first saw the pen, I noticed a seam here on, on the plastic of the barrel, and I thought, oh man, that marbling is just a, a, a wrap, like on a Domino's pizza car. But it's not. This actually is uh, marbled through and through in the plastic, and in fact, when you look inside, you can actually see under this lighting, you can see my finger moving around through the white part there behind it. So, uh, opaque but you can actually get light to shine through parts of that marbling. And so the more I looked at it and realized, okay, that's just, that's just a seam from a mold, no big deal. Actually, I think they've done a nice job of the marbling. This is just a light, hard plastic. It's, it's not like a, a thicker resin type material. Don't know exactly what they've used, but actually it's, it's nice. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Bakelite plastic back, back in the war. Uh, kind, of, kind of that sort of a material. I don't think that's what it is, but that's, that's what it's reminiscent of. Before I put that back on, it does come with a, uh, a converter, and so that's the way I would use this pen. I wouldn't bother trying to track down what cartridges fit in this pen. I would just use an ink converter. That's always my preference when I can. And so I always, always, always appreciate it when that's included. Put that back on. You notice it has a clear section, and that is actually a clear feed as well. I have Noodler's Midlight Midnight Black inside, so it looks darker than it is. So it's just a clear plastic feed going to a nib, and I don't know if they make their own nibs or if this is an IPG nib. It looks awfully familiar, but it doesn't say. It just says Iridium Point, extra fine but I feel like I've seen this nib somewhere else. So maybe if you have information on where S SDK gets their nibs or if they make their own, you might share that in the comments below. I'll give you my impressions of that in the writing test. Overall on the design, I think it's, I think it's an okay looking pen. I think there are uh, nicer looking pens, even nicer looking pens in this price point, 
But I don't say that to knock the pen. It's just a personal preference and your taste. You may think, wow, can't believe he got this for a few bucks. And it, I do think it's a, a good value in that way as far as the design is concerned. So uh, you're not getting way far and above your money, but you, you are getting what you paid for in this pen as far as design is concerned. I do like uh, this dark marble. I just think, you know, the, the thing here that looks like a sultan's cap and, and, and this it's just a bit more metal than I like at the top of the clip. Other than, those, are, those are just my personal uh, preferences. Other than that, good pen. So let's see how this pen actually writes. All right, let's try out the SKB F20 Colorful Plastic, as they called it on the web. That's a, that's a long name. They should have said that in, in another language so that, you know, we could, we could make it sound a little bit better than Colorful Plastic. So the SKB, I mean, I don't know what that stands for. I guess I should have looked that up, shouldn't I? And it's the F20. And this one comes with an extra fine nib. And I think it's a little bit broader than that. Uh, I'd say a fine, but you know, every, every maker rates that differently. And so to each his own. And this is a Noodler's Midnight Blue, very familiar to people on this channel. I, I like this ink. I've had good experience with it. And so I just keep using it. And not only not only is that why I keep using it, but Noodlers gives you a lot of ink for the money. You get a, a big three ounce bottle. They didn't pay me to say this, I get nothing. Uh, but you get a g good full uh, bottle of ink, get your money's worth, I like that. So there is that. I'm going to be quiet and let you hear how this pen writes. Fairly wet there, especially for an extra fine. Pretty quiet for an extra fine. You know, they tend to be a little bit feedbacky. Some extra fines, even what I would just say is plain out scratchy. And this one really is not. I find that it writes fairly wet. Uh, wet enough that if you watched my video on the Wing Sung 659, and I'll put a link up there, uh, you know that I like that pen for when I'm writing on paper that tends to have ghosting and bleed through. And this pen, even though it's an extra fine, still puts down, you can, you can tell right here, I have mediums that don't put that wet a, a line. Uh, it puts down enough ink that I can't use it on those kinds of, of paper. So that's something to be aware of, that it is a fairly wet writing extra fine. And of course, nothing wrong with that. It's just, uh, that's just what it is. So, it's not a, not a scratchy pen at all, and that's good, because that's why some people tend to shy away from fine and extra fine. They just don't like the extra feedback and sometimes scratchiness. And this pen doesn't. It writes fairly smoothly. Um, not necessarily uh, my, my favorite writing pen, but it's not anything negative. I think it's just that there are some others that I like a whole lot better. But I think it's actually a, a, a pretty good pen. Uh, the nib writes smoothly. I was about to write something, but I have no idea what I was going to write. The pen writes smoothly, and the ink flows well. I do have a little bit of trouble with this pen compared to some others uh, drying out when left alone for a week or so. So that's something to consider. Uh, if I like pens that, that don't dry out, and so I haven't used this as much and kept it inked up as much because of that. So I'll probably use it a lot. <laughs> over the next week or so trying to use up the rest of that ink so that I can clean it out because it just doesn't like being left alone. So there is that. That's, that's something important to know about various pens. I have, for example, example this, this Eco and the Moon Man, which I did in the last video, and those hold up very, very well and don't dry out. Platinums, of course, don't. The Lamy Studio there doesn't. Uh, but this one does tend to dry out if neglected. So it's a pen that's going to want your attention. All right, that's it for this particular pen, the SKB F20. Kind of obscure, but a good little pen, a little knockabout pen, cheap pen uh, for you to use. And, and like I say, uh, the style might be a little bit different, but that also might be right up your alley. And if it is, why don't you go out and grab one. God bless you. Like, subscribe, share the video with a friend that you think likes uh, fountain pens or would like to uh, get into fountain pens. Share a video with them. 
God bless you and have a great week.